Okay guys, so here we are with my Cannondale CAD 10 frame that's broken. You could look at the chain stay right down here. You can see that's that's pretty bad. From a car accident, not from me, from somebody else I was gifted this frame. So if you do happen to know somebody that's going to toss a frame, this is an awesome project for you. You know, to me it's a work of art. Very nice frame. Could do something cool with it instead of just throw it away and aluminum's worth almost nothing, so no point in scrapping it. Anyways, uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have uh, links to everything too, so you guys could grab all this stuff. I got a nice grinder here. I'm gonna use, use this grinder to cut the frame up and we'll walk through that too to make it into what I want. And here we have the lamp. A nice long cord. You can find a link to this in the description. And towards the bottom it has a nice on-off switch. Pretty high quality. I picked gold because I thought it would look good with the black frame. It takes a standard light bulb socket in here. You can take this off as a collar to help install it. I'm gonna figure something out in the second video when I mount the frame for a lampshade. That will be the next step. I'm gonna have to figure something out for that. Here we have the frame. I already took some measurements and what I did was I took this against the wall where I wanted to hang it up. It's gonna be a a bike frame lamp. So I didn't want it down on the wall. I want it to be nice and even so it gives a, a really good spread of light. You know, it's actually something useful. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up mounting it on a piece of wood that goes flat like this. And if you could see here, I've actually uh, marked some spots. So right here, you could see. This is where I'm guesstimating that wherever I mount it, it'll, it'll mount up pretty nice and straight. So, what we'll do is we'll just start cutting it all up and get to work and you'll get a better idea of what I'm going to do here. Okay, so, here's the frame. And as you can see, I have some markings here, all the way around. I'm going to run this cord through the frame, through the down tube, and my goal is to try to have, have it come through here in the bottom of the head tube and then use this collar here to tighten it in. As you can see it fits real well. And what I'm going to use to fish that through, so I have this old brake cable and I'm just going to use that. I'm just going to basically fish it through. I'm going to hook it through the electrical socket hole here, run the cable through like this. And then I could just use that to just pull the fish it through and it will come through no problem. But the problem is, it's really going to be hard to show. I can open this up now because I'm going to actually have to cut a, a little access port here to pull the plug out. The plug is actually kind of, kind of small and it can't come through the hole because I'm going to try to show it on the camera here. You can see how small that hole is right there. It's not, there's no way that plug's gonna fit through there. And I already have a spot marked here. What I'm gonna do is try to small window cut and leave this spot down here so I could just peel it back. And then I'm gonna drill a big hole there first because I want that to be where the actual cord will come through. So if I push that back, it'll look nice and clean. And then you won't be able to see the cord or a big window in the frame. So. That, and you could, here's a little better close up of where I'm gonna cut these stays and a better angle, or a better picture of the angle there. And what I would recommend is if you have this kind of project, I would just stick it up against the corner of a wall in the hallway or something and try to find, when you hold it up, about how it's gonna look. And that will give you a good idea of where to cut your angles. And mine are actually a little further out than where I really was thinking I should cut them. I'm probably going to actually go a little bit lower. Maybe up to here. But uh, I want to try to save as much as the candle lettering as possible because it looks cool. It's easier to cut a couple of times than it is to cut once. So we're going to leave it long. And if we got to go short, then I'll probably end up trimming a little back here on the seat post too. And then uh, we'll see where we're at. So onward to the work. So my plan is I'm going to cut a little window so this can come through 
And what I did first, you want to measure this, find about an estimate where you're at, and then I trace that out, and that gives you marks to grind on. So we're going to drill first and grind. See, we got a nice big hole there. Now we'll start our little grind window. Pretty big drill, went way bigger than I needed for the, the actual diameter of the cord. You can see it's, not, it's like two or three times the thickness, but a little easier to match up my window there. So here we go. Don't forget kids, protect your eyes. They're expensive to fix or maybe not fixable. Don't shoot stuff into them. It's not going to be a window, it's just going to be a hole then, no problem, we'll just do that. Ah, so close. Oh, there you go. You could probably just stick, if you wanted to, you could stick to the window idea if you have a Dremel. My grinding wheel is just too thick. My plan is to cover up these bearing holes with something black, make it look a little cooler, hide the cord as well. All right, so now we're gonna run this through the frame and see how it looks, see how good we're doing on our length and everything. Get your cable through there if you haven't already. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your cable, give it a nice bend. There you go. You hook it through. Just feed it in. Okay, so I'm actually having a little bit of problems coming in from here down to the bottom very easily. Uh, the, the smaller hole, it's not very easy to get it right through the middle, so I'm actually gonna go backwards. Feed the cable through that way, and then uh, start all over again. Make it work. We got it through on this side, and you can see we got the cable through on the other side. So I got one more thing to do. Uh, I actually have to bring this window up a little bit higher to get into the down tube. So I'm actually trying to cut right below this hole here. So we're gonna do that now and then uh, we'll run this through. Tie it pretty tight because you see it's going to try to come loose. There we go, that ain't coming out. We'll pull this through. Ooh. Wow, that's a lucky turn right there. It is very close with that switch in there. So incredibly close. Okay, just a touch more grinding. There we go. It's like giving birth. Jesus.
cord is mounted, we need to cut the back off. There you have it guys. Now we're ready to mount up and finish our wiring, get our lampshade and mount that up and all. So that'll be the next video, part two. It's not a huge deal to try to get these as close as possible to even. What I would like to do is like cut some small holes in the wood and like inset the frame into there. And so whenever we do mount it, I might have to trim that up a little bit more, make a match or whatever. But yeah, that's it. Please like and subscribe guys for part two and more other cool projects and DIY stuff. It really helps my channel grow. Thanks a lot. Bye.